Hey guys, good morning. We're doing a vlog style morning routine. Basically it's always just to like show you well, this part of the process, the products I'm using and what I'm loving. Um, and also today mainly to show you, I've been really into my new no foundation makeup routine and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I've also introduced some new skincare that I'm really enjoying. So just an update really. We're gonna do a chatty vlog style morning routine update situation today. Uh, before we get into things, I am gonna plug in my curling iron. Honestly, <laughs> I'm probably gonna call this like a realistic morning routine, um, but like no two mornings or days are exactly the same. If I knew I wasn't like filming anything or going anywhere, my hair would probably stay up in this bun, especially in this heat. But I do have some things I want to film today and I might see people later. So I'm just going to run my curling iron through my hair. It already is curled-ish, so I'm just going to give it a touch up. This is my um, Hot Tools 1 inch curling iron that I got at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to plug this in. Also, before we go any further, I got to put on some deodorant because it's hot out there. I am into the natural deodorant life usually, but it's hot today, so I'm going to put on, excuse me, as I do this under my dress, <laughs> I'm gonna put on a little bit of Bradley's toxic deodorant. All right, but I just showered. I feel like my showers are very boring now with my like eczema problems, but I used my simple moisturizing facial wash. It, you, I talk about it in every video that I can because I'm obsessed. And then I have reintroduced, not really reintroduced, I just started using again, my Trader Joe's microdermabrasion scrub. It's so good, so cheap, right at Trader Joe's. And then for my body, I just use pink Dove soap at the moment because I'm having just, especially in the summer and the heat, the heat for some reason makes my eggs the worst is that like a thing I don't know but I just use pink Dove soap to wash my body and that's like the boring part I put on this dress this is from Old Navy this was last year but they do still make this like swing tiered dress so I'll link it down below now it is time for jewelry and I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Ana Luisa I'm back working with Ana Luisa and I'm so excited so I have some new goodies from them that they sent and I'm gonna pick something out to wear today so the first ones I ordered are these Nava Huggies I'll show you a proper close-up but they're really cute they're just little like huggy earrings that hug your ear lobes and they have um, just like studs all the way down them Super cute, but I am most excited about these new ones. These are called the Caroline. It's one of those ones where like you put it through your ear and then the backing comes through. Like you'll see what I mean. But I am so excited about these. So we're gonna try these first. But if you don't know what Ana Luisa is, if you've never heard me talk about them before, it is a jewelry company that makes sustainable, dainty jewelry that's like perfect for every day. So you just put the stud in and then you put the little backing on. And it has three different settings so you can pick like how short and low it is. I might need the mirror for this. Okay, I had to do that off camera because I needed to use the mirror, but literally how cute is that? I love that it's like an everyday stud, but it's still like a little bit different, but it's not like dangly like in the way, you know? Like that is so much fun. I've never had an earring like that. How cute. <laughs> but yeah, I love Ana Luisa. They make a lot of my favorite everyday earrings. I love their rings. I'm mostly just an earring and ring kind of girl, but they have it all. They have ear cuffs. They're super cute. They have necklaces, bracelets, and I just love them. I love the quality of the jewelry. The price is right. The prices start at $39. They use noble metals. It's never turned my finger green or irritated my ears. Everything is tested against humidity, tested against break proof stuff. I have never had any of my pieces tarnish. I've never had any of them break. And some of these pieces I've had for like two plus years. So I can attest to the quality. The quality is great. The designs are great. They have fast and free shipping in the U.S. They have affordable shipping worldwide and they offer returns. So you just can't go wrong. It's just cute, everyday, affordable, dainty jewelry that I always look forward to putting on. And these are gonna be my new favorites. <laughs> also, the brand is completely carbon neutral, which I think is really cool. They offset 100% of their emissions. And you do get a two-year warranty on your pieces, which is very helpful and just cool. They have upped my discount, so if you wanna try Ana Luisa, you can shop their pieces, use my code, which is amylynn20 for 20% off your order, which is so cool. I will have the website link down below. I'll also link these down below if you're interested. Um, but just, I'm obsessed with these, so cute, especially if you are gonna wear your hair up for the day, like a little pizzazz on your ears, love. So thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for supporting if you buy any jewelry, and yeah. Let's get on with some skincare. 
So one of the new things that I've been using in my morning routine, just cause like I'm getting old and I don't, I'm just trying to eliminate some dark spots. I also had some darkness around my nose from when I had the, um, what was it called? The dermatitis. And it's really doing a good job of clearing it up. Like it's, there's a little redness left, but nothing like it was. So I've been using the Josie Marin Argan Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum. I know vitamin C is like great for your skin. I don't know why Josie Marin sent me to sent me this, so that's why I use it. But it's like an oil and it feels so good. It just is so hydrating. I don't think, is that what a serum was supposed to be? Like a hydrating oil? I don't know, but this is fabulous. I am loving it. And I've implemented two new skincare things, one in the morning, one at night. Um, the, the one I'm using at night is still kind of new, so maybe I'll wait to tell you. Maybe I'll, sh I'll do a night, summer night routine if you want to see that. But I've been loving the way my skin has been looking. So I don't know if it's both products or just one, but besides the way my skin looks, this stuff just feels so good. I'm going to let that sit for a moment and brush my teeth, which I won't show you because that's weird. I got a nose itch. Just a little proof that I am brushing. Then I am going to go in with my sunscreen. This is also by Josie Marin. This is their Get Even Sun Milk. It has SPF 33. I just wear this every day. Maybe not every day if I know I'm not going outside, but I usually do go outside. So I do, I wear it most of the time, <laughs> but it's a really nice sunscreen. And this and the vitamin C serum are so moisturizing that I don't even need moisturizer in between. Like I'm pretty dewy to the gods without even using a moisturizer. So these two products definitely take care of the moisture of my skin in the morning. And it's protecting my face from the sun. I also should mention like this lighting is terrible. So after I curl my hair, we're gonna move out to the bedroom to do my makeup just so you can see things better. Yeah, so just in case you're like, ugh, I don't wanna watch this anymore because it looks so bad. <laughs> Okie doke. So, while that sits, we're gonna work on the hair. And like I said, the hair is kind of like a luxury step if I have the time. This morning Bradley is home, so I have time to like come upstairs and get ready, especially because it's my work for the day because I'm filming it. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush through it a little bit. We actually went out last night, like out in like, I don't even know where we were. It was by the Grove, but we went out to a um, friend's birthday dinner at a delicious place and we had so much fun, but I am so tired. We didn't get home till 11.30 and we never do that anymore. I used a lot of dry shampoo last night, so I might not need any, but we'll just put some for good measure. This is my fave dry shampoo. It matches my dress. It's the Eva NYC Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo. It's available at Costco in like large, you get a pack of two of the large size where I think it's $16. So it's great. And this is on the list. Remember how like the lawsuit came out? Am I in focal focus? No. Remember how like the lawsuit came out about like the nasty cancerous stuff inside these? This was on the list of safe things. It does have propane and butane in it though. That seems really scary, <laughs> but it works great. It's not completely invisible as you can see. It disappears pretty quickly, so works well. Just gonna work that in. My family is now home, so if you hear them running around down there, that's them. <laughs> I also will say a lot of nights, I will use my Kitsch satin heatless curl thing. It's not always my favorite to sleep in, and sometimes I just forget about putting it in, but I, it is so effective. I love the way my hair looks, and it holds the curl. It gets rid of the frizz. It is very cool. If you haven't tried that yet, I think it's totally worth the like, 12, 15, whatever dollars it is. Like I said, my hair is already curled because I went out last night and I did it then, but we're just gonna run the curling iron through it. And I've shown you guys how I do this a million times. I'm so old school with my hair. My hair's been the same since high school, <laughs> but I just do it in sections. I still use a curling iron with a clamp. I take a section, I go down, roll up, down, roll up, down, roll up, and I leave a little section out. And that's how I do my hair. And since, like I said a thousand times, it's already, like this isn't like freshly washed hair. That takes a bit more time because my hair is like frizzy. Um, but once heat has gone through it, it kind of calms down. So this won't take me as long as like a freshly washed hair day situation. I feel like my hair held a curl better for like a few days before I had Milo. And now like it won't. So that's rude of it. But yeah, I'm just gonna curl my hair. <laughs> try not to run my fingers like through my hair until the end just to give them time to like cool and set, you know? Um, so I'm gonna finish up the rest of my head. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so my hair is curled. Here's what it looks like. It took me like 10 minutes just to, you know, run my fingers through it. My fingers, my curling iron through it. Now, I am gonna put oil in it, but I usually do that as my like last step just to like let it cool as much as possible. But what I do do, LOL, do do, is to get volume in my like top half, I will literally just do this and leave it for a moment while I do my makeup and whatnot. And I feel like it lifts the roots. So I look crazy, but I swear it works a little bit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly make the bed. We don't make the bed every day, but we like aspire to, we try to. Um, but I'm gonna be filming in here so it'll be nicer to look at. And I have some laundry to put away later. So fresh, nice bed for that. You also sleep in it better the next, like tonight I'll sleep in it better because it was nicely made. So gonna make the bed. <laughs> Much better lighting. Now I'm just gonna show you my quick, no foundation makeup routine that I've been loving in the heat just cause like, you know when it's hot and you're like sweaty and you have a bunch of makeup on and it's just not fun? Yeah, so I've kind of like eliminated foundation for the summer. I'm starting with some Aquaphor because how I told you guys that I think I have long COVID. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Um, I've been complaining for quite literal months now, I think. I had what I'm pretty positive was COVID in early May. Haven't been able to smell since. Right before I left for North Carolina, my scent came back and like half of stuff smells terrible to me. And so I think that I have long COVID. I normally use my Laneige peppermint thing when I'm doing my makeup, but peppermint is one of the things that smells and tastes terrible to me, so. Little aquaphor with no smell or taste. So that sunscreen leaves me pretty dewy, but if I didn't use that, I would go in with a little bit of my Trader Joe's Argan Oil, which I think I'm also gonna do a reel on this just to make it quicker, and I will I'll show you how I use that in that. But since I used the sunscreen today, I won't, but I'd love the base that um, that oil gives me for makeup, but I like between the serum and the sunscreen, my skin feels pretty much the same. Going in, no foundation, but I am going to touch up a few areas with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. Definitely under my nose. This smells rancid to me. <laughs> a friend asked me to describe the scent last night. I don't know how. It's the most wild smell I've ever smelled. It's disgusting. It is not fun. The biggest thing that smells for me is coffee. Like it is awful. A little bit on my chin. I'm just kind of around, you know? So you still have some coverage, obviously, from the concealer, but you don't have the crazy like heaviness of a foundation or even like my nude sticks BB cream type thing. Like it just, you know, it's less on your skin. And I'm just using my Ulta Beauty sponge to blend it out. I will have everything linked down below. And then you just kind of blend it out just to, you know, make everything feel seamless. I should probably get a mirror instead of just using the viewfinder. I'll do just that, hold on. Okay, and that's it for like the concealer portion. Let me check in my mirror. Oh, did a terrible job blending around the nose. But it just like, you know, it's obviously not a perfect coverage situation because there's no foundation, but it just kind of evens things out, covers up any blemishes or redness that you have. And I love that concealer. I love the color match for me. I think I'm in the color fair, but it just feels really good. And I just ordered mine off Amazon, which I need to order another one. I'm running out, which I've been like Amazoning nonstop. I need to chill. I just did an Amazon haul. I'll link it up at the corner. It was like the Prime Day deals and some other random things I found, but like, Damn. <laughs> now I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. I'm in the shade Laguna 01, the lightest shade. I believe there's five different shades. I love this stuff. This was a Jessica Braun recommendation and it is flawless. I just used this brush you can't get anymore. I'm so sorry, it's by Real Techniques, but it's just basically like a stippling brush and I just stipple it in there so it makes the product look kind of gross, but it's not, I promise. But this stuff blends like a dream. Like, look at that. Oh my God. Goodness. I love the color match for me. It's a cream, but it sets, and I should say like this no foundation makeup routine does involve a lot of creams, which I used to be like anti-cream makeup in the summer. Cause I'm like, I'm just gonna sweat and it's all gonna slide off. But the key is finding like good quality cream makeup that like sets and stays in place and you don't have to worry about it. And I feel like I have found some staple products that do just that. Like, look how nice that looks. That is so just like natural, but really does bronze up my face and gives me a little bit of color. I love it. Now this does set beautifully on its own. It lasts beautifully throughout the day. And I don't always add 
add on another bronzer, but I have been using this as eyeshadow and I've been loving it. So I've just been adding like a little bit on top. So this is the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder in Natural Glow. So there's two shades of this powder that I think the other one's called Translucent and this one is Natural Glow. And it just adds like a little bit of shimmer and just a little bit of extra color in your bronzing areas. And it's just a really pretty powder, I think. And I'm using this big old MAC 140S brush for it that I've also really been enjoying. This is why I do this step before my brows because I completely mess up my brows when doing it. I just looked at this like it had a mirror and it doesn't. How embarrassing. Down the neck a little. And then I will also take a little bit of this in just my like crease of my eyes just to give some definition. This is my favorite Luxie 205 tapered eyeshadow brush. I have a few of these and they just have lasted the test of time. I love them. But as you can see, it just adds like a little bit of color, nothing crazy. Sometimes I do put it all over the lid. I just really like the shade of this as an eyeshadow and a bronzer. My eyebrows look crazy. <laughs> okay, done. Let me just sort those out just a little bit. We'll get to those in a moment. But now I'm going to go in with my cream blush. This is the Say. I mentioned this in my mall haul, which if, if you haven't watched my mall haul, you should. It's fun. But this is the Say Liquid Dew Blush in the color Peachy, another Jessica Braun recommendation but I've really been enjoying this. I've been so used to using the Rare Beauty Cream liquid blushes, whatever, but this one is a bit different. It's not as like pigmented, so I don't have to be so afraid of it. And I've just been using this Real Techniques, it says contour brush, but I just blend it out and I love the color of this. It's exactly as it says, just like a nice peachy blush. And it's a bit stickier than the Rare Beauty blush, but it does kind of like dry down, but it does give you like a nice matte, no, not matte, dewy finish. I put a little too much on this side. And I do this all the time. I'll just go back in with my foundation or today concealer brush and just kind of, you know, even things out a little bit. But how pretty is that color? It's such a pretty color. I love the finish of it. I will say it feels like it takes a couple of minutes to kind of like dry down, but I've been impressed with the wear time of it, so. I really have been enjoying this blush and this brush for cream blushes. And my skin doesn't look perfect, but I still like am shocked that, the, that like I'm not wearing any foundation just by how even things look. I am going to go in with a bit of powder just because like I'm sweatier than usual. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury powder I've hit pan on. I'm going to try to use it up. And another Real Techniques brush you can't get anymore, but I'm just going to put a little bit like where I'm shiny under my eye. A lot on my mustache and under my nose. I sweat so much on my mustache. And then I don't like a shiny chin, so I put it there. I also put a little bit right there, just where I get shiny. I like to be shiny some places, like my nose and my cheekbones, but some places I don't. Now for highlight, another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the, so hard to say, Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow. I do enjoy this. I mentioned this in a favorites video at some point. I enjoy this. I don't think you need to run out and get it though. This is the Real Techniques Highlight Brush, one of the best, or a setting brush. And I just put some on my nose, mostly focusing on the tip. That's what she said. And then I just take it across my cheekbone. Ah, oh, so pretty. You may not even necessarily want highlight with this blush because it does give a little bit of a dewy glow, but I like to really, you know? And then I also bring it across my eyelids just a little bit up my brow bone. Just, you know, some natural glitz. And then to blend that all together, I will take my blush brush again and just kind of, you know, do that. I love the color of this blush so much. And we're wrapping up here. It's so easy and quick. Today obviously is a little bit different because I'm like filming it and it takes me forever, but I am able to do this makeup routine in 10 minutes or less with Milo running around at my feet. This has just become like my go-to mom makeup. I also like, I feel like half the time I don't wear makeup, but if I'm vlogging or I know I'm gonna be filming or I'm seeing people or I'm just in the mood, this has been my go-to hot weather summer makeup, so. I wanted to share it. This is uh, an amazing eyelash curler. I'll link it to, again, everything will be linked, but I really love this. Um, it's by Tweezerman. Still going strong with my Bambi L'Oreal, no, L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara in the shade Black Brown. I feel like I watch a lot of people and they're just now getting into brown mascara and eyeshadow or eyeliner, and I, but it is just more nice and subtle. It just like, it's so pretty. A brown mascara I think is so pretty. Oh, I also wanted to say so many of you like I get like two DMs a day, I feel like, which I love it. And I wouldn't have known about this collection if it wasn't for you guys messaging me, so thank you. But you've messaged me about the um, Wet n Wild Alice in Wonderland collection. I have placed an order. I will definitely keep you posted when I get it. I didn't get everything, I just got a few things, um, but I'm really excited. The ColourPop Alice Disney Wonderland situation didn't do it for me. I'm also just like, I don't love ColourPop. The last time I ordered from them, things were like 
broken and gross when it arrived and I just never used it so I kind of stopped buying ColourPop but I do love Wet n Wild and I feel like the Wet n Wild collection is better um, so I am excited to get that and try it so first coat of mascara done going in with my gimme brow by benefit i swear they changed the color of this because i feel like a lot of days i'm too heavy-handed and then i look crazy so i'm just going to be careful but the product itself is incredible it's like this tiny spoolie as you can see helps you get in there adds some color adds some fibers to make them look fuller and it's just my very favorite brow product ever i just got to figure out why it's been looking so dark <laughs> Easy. Transformation of the brow. I like gave myself a little bit of an eyebrow plucking before North Carolina. I feel like they look better. And there's still room for improvements. Oh, got a big old blob. But like, it's just a foolproof product because even if you do mess up, it wipes away. It just is a very like workable product and I love it. It's expensive, but I feel like it lasts a while and I just feel like it's worth it. Okay, but this doesn't hold it enough for me. You saw my brows, they're like crazy and bushy. So I do set with a brow gel. If you've watched me for a while, you know that I normally use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, but I recently got this in um, the mail from Physicians Formula. It's the Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Brow Gel and I'm loving it and it's only $8. I was paying 24 for that other eyebrow gel. This is gonna save me so much money. I love the spoolie and it holds my brows. So like what else could you need? It holds them, but it doesn't hold them. Like I always complained that the Anastasia brow gel for me was a little bit too like crispy, crunchy, like Ross when he puts too much hair gel in, you know? But this like holds it, but they don't look wet and gross. Like I feel like this eyebrow is darker. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with another coat of mascara. This eyelash curler makes such a difference. I am going to set everything with a bit of setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury one, which I loved that one, but I love this one too. This is such a good setting mist. And just watch the nozzle, it's gorge. Like, oh, it smells good. It makes your makeup look incredible. If you're a bride, use this for all wedding events. Your shower, your bachelorette, engagement party, rehearsal dinner, the wedding itself, it's the best. I'm trying to move away from Morphe as a brand, but I don't know if I can break up with this stuff. <laughs> and while that dries a bit, I'm gonna take my hair down and add the oil to it, I told you I would. So this is the BioSilk Silk Therapy. Ooh, a couple of days ago, this smelled rancid to me. It smells better now. Maybe it's leaving. But this stuff is so good. I've literally been using this since I was in seventh grade. I just take a bit and run it through everything. I don't use hairspray. My hair hates it. I just use some oil to keep frizz at bay. I kind of scrunch it up like this. And I honestly feel like the oil helps my hair like stay curled. I, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Well, that piece went flat. That's great. And I think I'm gonna go for a headband today because why not? Also, when I wear this yellow dress, I like to wear this exact yellow headband. These ones are kind of weird though because they make your ears stick out. So I have to like place it and there we go. And that, I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll work. <laughs> but that is it for the getting ready portion of my life. My hair, my makeup, my skincare, whatever. Oh, I do like to put a little bit of body mist on. Take a bath in that. And sometimes I put on perfume, but since my sniffer's been weird, my sniffer, <laughs> you get it, I haven't been. But yeah, that's it for the getting ready portion. This headband is old from Anthropology before you ask. I'm so sorry, I can't like it. But yeah, now I'm going to just play with my son, feed him lunch, put him down for a nap, and then get to work. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my realistic, chatty vlog style morning routine. I will have everything I can linked down below. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I will have their info down below as well as my discount code. These earrings, other earrings I love. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. Let me know down below what kind of videos you want to see coming up. Um, obviously we have like Halloween coming up. It's not that soon, but it's somewhat soon. But um, I, we have a little bit of a lull in between then. So let me know what you want to see and stay tuned for more stuff. We're about to start party prep for my son's second birthday party. So I will definitely vlog party prep and that kind of thing. And yeah, just let me know what kind of videos you want to see. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you very soon with a new video. I hope you subscribe if you're not already. I'll have my face somewhere you can click as well as some videos you may have missed or you might enjoy. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one and I hope you have a great day. Bye.